Number 76. Water gas, a mixture of H2 and CO, is an important industrial fuel produced by the reaction of steam with red-hot coke, essentially pure carbon, and then they give us this equation. But in this case, we're doing letter C. So if you need A and B, just go back a couple of questions on the playlist. We did A and B, and now we're moving on to C, all right? So in C, we just want to know, calculate the heat of combustion of one mole of liquid methanol to H2 O gas and CO2 gas, right? We want the heat of combustion. Okay, so they're telling me I need to write a combustion formula of liquid methanol. So first off, we're doing a balanced equation, right? We've done tons of work with learning how to write a balanced equation. That was in chapter four, I believe. So what I'm going to do is this is going to kind of be a quickened version. If you want, pause the video to see if you can write a balanced equation and then see if it matches mine. All right, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run with it. All right, so liquid methanol is this compound right here. Liquid methanol is CH three OH, and it's a liquid. Now remember, whenever you're burning something, aka doing a combustion reaction, you're always plusing O two. It has to be burned in air, and that's always a gas. Maybe I'll make that two a little better. There you go. And then you will produce out CO two gas plus H2O, gas, right? During combustion, you always are producing water vapor. You're not producing water liquid, right? If you see a fire burning, you don't see water like shooting out all over the place. The water that's being released is in a gas form, not a liquid form. Okay, so we wrote the equation, but we gotta make sure it's balanced. So I'm just going to do a, a quick little read through here just to make sure that we're balanced. Um, I got one carbon, one carbon, so that's good. I got four total hydrogens here, three and one. So I need to put a two in front of here to get to the four hydrogens. And now let's see, I got two oxygens, two oxygens. So that is a total of four oxygens, but oh no. There's one oxygen here. So remember guys, we need to put a number here, right? And I need to equal it to four total oxygens. That's on this side. But there's one oxygen already coming from the methanol. So one plus two times what will get me to four? So I could say two X. And now I'm just gonna do this equation. All right, so I'm gonna minus one, I'm gonna minus one. I get 2x equals 3, divide by 2, divide by 2. The first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a 3 over 2. Now, if you want to keep it as a 3 over 2, that's fine with me. Uh, maybe your teacher or professor won't allow that. So what you need to do is you just need to multiply the whole equation by what the denominator is. So two of them, all right? So I'm going to multiply by 2 for all the coefficients. So my coefficients are going to change. So I'm now going to have a 2 in front of here. And actually, maybe I'll do that in black. So I'm going to have two CH3O2s because there was one there. 3 over 2 times 2 is now just going to be a 3, right? 1 times 2, now there's going to be a 2 here. Maybe just let me, can I kick that out? Yeah, that's perfect. I'll put this back. And then we have a 2. And then 2 H2Os times 2 is now a total of 4 H2Os. And now I can get rid of this, get rid of this, and we are beautiful. Okay, let me just get rid of this for now. So, balanced equation, done. Next thing that I'm going to do is... I need to put my numbers with what I have going on here. These are our delta H values, right? So I'm just going to say that I have negative 239.2 kilojoules per mole going on with the liquid methanol. O2 is zero. The CO2 is the negative 393.51. And then the H2O gas is the negative 241.82. 
Now, just make sure I got these numbers in the back of a textbook, right? It's in like the appendix values. We need to find the delta H values because they said heat, right? Delta H is enthalpy. It's how much heat is being produced. Just make sure that you're picking the right state. This is H2O gas and not liquid. So just be careful. So now, how do we find the delta H for the whole reaction? We know that formula. It's this one, right? Finally, we're going to use products minus reactants. The whole delta H of the reaction, Rxn, is the sum of the products minus the sum of the reactants. I need to get one number for the left side, and I need to get one number for the right side. So what we do is we take the delta H values that we found in the back of the textbook, and we're going to multiply all of them by how many we have in the balanced equation. So for example, there was two of these, so I have to multiply this by two. There was three oxygens, so technically I would multiply that by three. There was two CO2s, so I multiply that by two. And there's four H2Os, so I multiply that by four. Now, I need to sum them up. Literally, it's CH3OH plus O2. So I have to add these two numbers together. CO2 gas plus H2O gas, I need to add these two numbers together to get one single number. So let's see. For the reactant side, it would just be 2 times the negative 239.2. And I get negative 478.4. And then for the product side, it's 2 times negative 393.51 plus 4 times a negative 241.82 and I get a negative whoop, a negative 1754 54.3 okay now I'm ready to do my delta H right the whole delta H would be products minus reactants. Negative 1,754.3 minus a negative 478.4. When you're minusing by a negative, remember, it's like keep change change, right? So it's really adding a positive. And now, let's see what we get. Minus that. I get negative 1,275.9 kilojoules. Now I'm just going to bring this over a little bit because we're not done. We wanted to know what it would be for one mole, but let's just simplify this, okay? We have to basically take our kilojoule value and just say, what compound we're looking for. So in this case, they wanted to know for the liquid methanol, which is CH3OH. So if I basically say per mole of the methanol, CH3OH, the number that I put is going to be the coefficient of what the balanced equation was. Since there was two, I have to take this number and divide it by 2, right? It would be negative 1,275.9 divided by 2. So maybe if I just put it over here, we'll do negative 1,275.9 kilojoules per 2 mole of CH3OH. If I do that division, if I just take that number and divide by 2, now look what I get. I get negative 637.95 kilojoules per, this would just be over 1, right? 1 mole. Oop, hold on. For 1 mole of the C2H, not C2, CH3OH. And do you see, now they want to calculate the heat of combustion of one mole? 
it's now going to be this value. Not the negative 1,275.9. It's going to be negative 637.95. That's the answer. So just make sure, guys, okay? So they specifically asked for one mole, so I had to divide that number by two because there was two in here. All right, so whether it's just negative 637.95 kilojoules, you're fine, all right? Hopefully that works. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. And good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, not just in chem, but in all your classes, all right? So good luck to you. I'm rooting for you guys, all right? And I'll see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.